the summer of 1955, my mom and dad had an idea. They invited a girl to come stay in our house in Beachmont, Connecticut. Not just any girl. One from Japan who'd been hurt during World War II when we dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. She was coming to America with 24 other girls to get operations on their faces and arms and stuff. I didn't really mind as long as she didn't get in the way. I mean, it was summer. I had things to do. This is the way people remember it. But this was the first actual raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. That was Iwo Jima. Fellas, the jungle was different. See, boys, what they did was they dug a pit in the ground, and they filled it with bamboo spikes, made a booby trap. Now, you fell in, and then, if anyone was left alive, they came after you, with this. There you go. Mr. Latimer? Uh-huh. Is that a bullet hole? Yeah. The chap that wore this was about to stick his bayonet right through my guts. The bullet saved my life, boys. This girl you got from she's really from Japan? Yeah, from Hiroshima. Hiroshima? Look out. Why? Atom bomb? Radiation? Yeah. Did you guys see Godzilla? Where he goes, Aah! he's got scales all over him. Hey, Johnny, I bet your chap girl's got feelings like an ant. Why is she coming anyway? A whole bunch of girls are coming out from Hiroshima. They're going to go to the hospital and try to get their scars fixed up. Scars? Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Remember what my dad said about all the sneaky stuff the Japs used to do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this Jap could be a spy. A girl spy? Shut up, Leo. Why not? Okay, we gotta help Johnny guard against the enemy, and we gotta think of a plan. All right? Okay. All right, let's get going. Why do we always have to do what Ted says? He's the general. But he's not the general. He's just loud. Right! What do they eat in Japan besides rice? Fish. I got fish. Lots of fish. And uh, seaweed. I told you. The Beachmont A&P doesn't sell seaweed, darling. What'd you eat when you were there? Hamburgers. I was in the army, honey. I, I ate what they gave me. <laughs> I don't mean when you were in the base. I mean, what'd you eat when you went downtown? What's the matter? I just, I just want to make sure she feels at home when she comes. Betty, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> Johnny, Timmy, what are you guys doing? Come on, cut it out. Okay, that's it, that's it. Come on, ah, come helicopter on, taking off. Look at this mess. Yeah. Get the landing pad ready. Boom. Okay, where's Bobo? Why aren't you asleep? Huh? Because he's in the middle of a pill fight. That's why. Yeah. Is school going to be all weird looking? Oh, why do you think that? She got all burnt, right? But honey, doctors nowadays know how to make people just like new. I mean. Well, not exactly. But look, we talked all about this, John. Come on, scoot in. Let's go. Dad, how many Japs did we wipe out? Hiroshima? I don't ever want to hear you use that word. What word? You know what word. Look, there are certain ways of talking about people that are just plain mean, and Japs is one of them. They deserve what they got. Jonathan, how can you say that? I mean, look what they did to our men. Ted's dad told us they dug these pits and... No, wait a second. First of all, Hal Latimer was never any place near Hiroshima. I was. I was stationed there. And what I saw there was the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. And I made myself a promise right then that I would do everything I could to make sure that that thing was never dropped on people again. 
Okay, Dad, but is it true that the people who breathe that, that radioactive poison, that they swell and burst and, and leak it all over? No, no, look, the, the radioactivity... Hey, it's bedtime now. We'll talk about this some other time. Come on, honey. Snuggle down. Give me a kiss. Sleep tight. Okay, lights going out. One, two, three. Sweet dream. All of a sudden, they're asking all these questions. I know it's that lab report. I don't mind the questions. That's how you learn. Yeah, but he seems so obsessed. Just... Look, he's a kid. He'll adjust. You can't adjust to a change in your breakfast cereal. Well, Nobu's perfect. <laughs> Johnny? What? Will she be green? What are you talking about? I saw this comic book, Atomic Man, the people were all green. So? This girl could be green like them. Go to bed, please. She could. Listen, mister. Johnny, our guest is here. Don't you want to meet her? I said I'm busy. John, you get the store open right now. Take it easy. Johnny. Where's uh, Timmy now? Timmy? Where is he? John? John? Timmy, this is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like horses? Ah, this one special horse, called Horse of the Wind. Flies into the sky. Yes. <laughs> oh, Timmy, aren't you the lucky one? <laughs> you have others, then? Yes, Johnny, our, our older boy. Ah, I have present for him, too. Oh, how sweet of you. I'll go get him. Betty. He's not coming out. Come on out. She's got these great presents. Johnny. John. John, uh, Mieko's out here, and I think she'd like to say hello. Johnny, apologies for my disturbing you. I bring you a surprise from Japan. John? He must be shy. He's not usually like that. John. Johnny, I leave it outside door. You can oh, pick nice. it up any time you like. <laughs> Any time before fly away. <laughs> Jonathan. Look what Miyako brought you. The kite from Japan. John. Hi. Hi. This is for you. Kite. Fly very high. Isn't that great? Look at that. What is that? Ah, uh, it means dragon. Brings good luck. Oh, that's beautiful. John? Thanks. Thank you for your room. I'm sorry I pushed you out. No, not at all, not at all. Uh, Johnny and Timmy really have a good time together. Don't worry about it. I get to sleep on a bed that folds up. Oh, so Timmy, you know what I want you to do? Take me, Echo, and show where everything is, okay? I want to see my dad, where my dad takes his photographs. He can make the whole piece red. Oh! 
him time. Let's give him just time. Just give him some time. I just knew that. Jonathan? Can I help? No, no, you sit down. Jim? Mm. Jim, come on. Timmy, sit down. Oh, Miku, no, uh, that's Johnny's chair. No, I want to sit next to him. Oh, okay. Let's get you armored up here. Where is he? He's coming. So, Mieko. Hey. What do you think of America so far? Oh, all is peaceful. As if you'd never had a war. Yeah, but something is missing. What? Uh, where are the cowboys? I don't see no cowboys yet. <laughs> Jim, Jim. Here, let oh, me make sure. Oh, here's one now. So you're still getting American cowboy movies over there? Oh, yes. And the Armed Forces Radio? Okay. Tuna again? Johnny. You know, I was I was over there in uh, Hiroshima. I, I think I told you right uh, right after they dropped the bomb. And uh, while I was there, I saw many things. Uh... You know, I have an idea. Later, why don't you and Timmy show Mieko some of your father's pictures of America? Okay. Jim's a great photographer. Well. Um... No, you are. Uh, Johnny, do you play baseball? Some. You teach me how to bunt? You play baseball? Oh, yes, of course. Sure. Squeeze, pray, high fry. <laughs> when I was over there, um, we used to play baseball with the kids all the time. We taught them how, you know. When I first heard of high fry, I thought it was insect on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Scaly. Does she have wavy feelers dangling from her ears? Weep, weep, weep. No. She's got all these weird marks all over her. That's right. I saw her. When did you see her? Oh, yeah. Well, I sent Pete to go watch her. She talked like this? Sort of. She's always bowing. She's saying thank you all the time. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for letting me spy on you. Now I cut you to pieces. Feel any radiation yet? Oh, yeah, that's right. If I were you, I'd stay away. Pretty soon you could be full of it. No, it doesn't work like that. How do you know? You're such an expert at it? Yeah. You know how you tell. You can see if she glows in the dark. Yeah, that's what you gotta do, Johnny. When she's asleep, go in her room and find out if she lights up at night. Then we've got some evidence. Yeah, and we can take it to someone. Yeah, the FBI. Right, the FBI. Johnny, you guys, this could be extra, extra important. I mean, we could get medals for this. And it all lays in your hands.
May I please help you? No, 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 you don't have to. But I want to be a good daughter to you. So if I do anything wrong, you tell me, please. Oh, Miego, I don't want you to worry about that. I'm not going to do anything wrong, honey. But if you want to help, sure, that's really nice. I'm trying to get some of these weeds out of here. In Japan, garden's very small. Garden's this small. Really? Yeah. Trees this small. A tree? Yeah. But perfect trees. Mm, sounds pretty. It is. But in America, everything's so big. <laughs> What did you do? Good. Mom, you should have seen I swam a whole length on my back. You did? Oh, you That's sure great. did. He's turning into a regular little minnow. Hi. Is John here? Ah, uh, no, he's not around right now. Can I talk to you for a second, Betty? Sure. Yeah, Danny. Inside, okay? Excuse us. <laughs> Where is he? Coffee? Where does he go all the time? I told you, honey, the Latimers. He hangs out with Ted and some other kids over there. They have some sort of clubhouse. You know, we went over and over this with him. I told him I wanted him to spend as much time as possible with Mieko. It's going to take time, Jim. Why? Why does it have to take time? Look at the two of them. It should be so easy. She's a nice girl. Johnny's smart. He'll see that. Yeah, well, he better. The next time he sees his allowance, he'll be married with children. Tough guy. You didn't put any milk in this. I didn't think you wanted any. Why don't you ask me? I did. Oh. <laughs> put this down. Just a little bit on the left side. Yes. Put this one up. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. You ran fast. the devils and ogres to stop them from coming to the door. Yeah, ogre, ogre, gonna sprinkle you. <laughs> Kids, bedtime. Come on, Timmy, let's go. Night. Come Good on, night. Timmy. I'll hit you with my back. Thank you. 
What do you call these? Uh, otsukemono. Otsukemono. Oh, otsukemono. We just call them pickles. Pickles. Let's see, what have I forgotten? Uh, nothing. Enough food here for a small city. Ah, uh, wonderful food. Thank you, Mieko. Mieko, is that how you say it? Yes, Mieko. Mieko. Oh, I don't, I don't think we need that. Um, Mieko, what does it mean? Uh, means beautiful. Let's go, let's go, let's go! We're coming! Let's go, let's go, spring. Hey! Let up, let up! <laughs> let it go! Let it go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's all right. Jim. No, I'm sorry, Mieko. It's not all right. Look, he can play with his friends any time. Now, you just stay right here. Jonathan? Jonathan, come back here! Just for a minute. Daddy, I'll go get the kite. Thanks. It's a nice kite. It's okay. My dad says they do stuff like that. Make you think they're nice, then blam, they sock it to you. So does she go in the dark? I don't think so. You sure? I mean, did you really get a good look? Yeah, twice. They're giving him a hard time, you know. Yes, I know, about Mieko. So, I mean, once they get to know her, it'll be fine. What, what are we supposed to do? Send her away because Johnny's friends don't like her? Did it ever occur to you that Johnny may be getting a few scars of his own in all this? That is no excuse for his behavior. I did find something. It's in the writing. Great, what's it say? I couldn't make it out. It's these funny squiggly marks. Hey, Ted, I bet it's in code. It's probably Japanese, stupid. Hey, you're the one that's stupid. Well, what we need is pictures. Can you get some pictures? Yeah, great! Pictures! Get a picture of her, then take all of our evidence down to the FBI. Can you do that? Can you get a picture? My dad has lots of cameras. Great. Okay, everyone, back to headquarters. I can't. I have to stay here. Well, what's the matter? Baby has to stay here. I'll just cut it out. Now, don't forget that photograph. Yeah. Make sure she doesn't crack the lens. Boy, she ugly. All right, you guys, let's get going. Hey, hey, why don't you lay off, Pete? letter lying around, did you? Letter? Mieko says she left a letter from her grandmother on the bureau in her room, and now she can't find it. I thought maybe it blew off and you might have seen it. Uh-uh, no. Did you have a good time at the park with your new kite? What difference does it make? Honey, I know it's not easy for you, all this. Johnny? 
Why is Dad so mad at me? I don't think he's mad at you, honey. It's just... We both feel you could be a lot nicer to Mieko, that's all. I mean, think how hard all this is for her. Why can't she stay somewhere else? Why does she have to be here? She doesn't have to be here. We invited her. We wanted her to come. Well, how come you didn't ask me if I wanted her to come? Because we're still the parents here. Dad, I mean, he always takes my side. Remember when me and Leo, we had that war with the strawberries? We wrecked Mrs. Zahasim's house with all those strawberry stains. She went nuts. Dad wanted up yelling at her, not us. You have to understand this is different for your father. Honey, Mieko needs us right now. You know she's going to the hospital any day now for her first surgery. And when she comes out, she's going to need us to look after her. Ted's dad, I mean, he said that the Japanese all hate us. And you believe that? You know how old Mieko was when she got hurt? She was just Timmy's age. But weren't we fighting with him? We weren't fighting little children, honey. Try spending some time with her, will you? Just try, okay? But it's going all down my back. I'll get it off you as soon as we're finished. Timmy, in my home, whenever we cut hair, we always keep some for the woodpeckers to take. Why? Oh, that's a wrong story, but when people and animals spoke the same language... No, they don't. Yes, they do. Mm -mm. But they did. Mm -mm. In this story, they do. Mm -mm. And so the woodpecker took some of the little boy's golden hair, just like this, and made a crest out of it. And he said, look, look. And the little forest animal saw, look, he's Daimyo. We shall follow him. And the woodpecker was so grateful to the little boy that he told him to whistle whenever he needed help, and the woodpecker would come. Good story, huh? Is it true? Well, perhaps I make some of it up. Yeah, would you do me a favor? Would you go downstairs in the kitchen and get me a broom from the closet? Oh, thanks. Okay, we're almost done here, honey. No, don't do that! Give me... Give I need the camera. To play with his Please, cameras. Mrs. Bennett, I'm sorry. I took the camera. I no, was just taking it back. It was my fault, Mama. No, it's my fault. It's my, my fault. fault. Come my on. fault. Okay, okay, so it's everybody's fault. I'll take it now. Thank you. Mommy! Coming! Don't yell! Thanks. Go. I want to show you something. Come up to test. <laughs> Understand now why I don't write camera? This is you. Think about the way I looked then and how I look now. When the other children used to see me, they said, Boo, pick a dome. Pick a what? Means atom bomb. Pick a dome, pick a dome. They run away from me like I'm some terrible person. No one wants to be my friend. Why not? I'm afraid of radiation. Afraid it might jump from me to them. 
something else. The way I wrote reminds them that Japan lost the war. The doctors, they would had a fix on it. It will be much better, especially in my hand. But they cannot make it like it was before. Nobody can. Are you scared? About all the operations? Yes. The surgery in Japan hurt very much. Never come out much better. Never know what is going to happen in the hospital. So many other children in Hiroshima. My bachan and my grandmother. She said that they have put away all their sick bodies and that their spirits are free. But I cannot believe that they died for nothing. That's why I fought these birds. The white cranes. They say if you fought 1,000 of them, the gods will grant your wish. What are you wishing for? Prince live a thousand years. It is a good omen. They will bring you long life. So if I fought one thousand of these queens, maybe the children of Hiroshima would never be forgotten. Here, for you. Thousand. If you keep giving him away, you'll never get a thousand. Think fast. Well, I won't stay. I forgot. What's going on? No. Hi, Dad. Glad to see you home from work. Gee, how come you're home so early? How about a raise? Nothing. What's going on? Dad. What if all your friends want you to do something? And you're not so sure it's such a great idea. What do you do? What would I do? Well, I think I'd do what I th thought was the right thing. And then try and explain to my friends why I did it. Yeah, but what if you know that they'll get mad at you if you say something about it? If you try and explain to them why you've done it, John, and they're mad at you, I think you have to think about whether or not those are really your friends. Understand? Yeah. See you later. Just once a day for that smooth, soft, girlish complexion, as perfect as it was at Sweet Sixteen. Vehicle? Bedtime. Good night. Good night. Sleep well.
time it is? No. Well, don't stay up too late, okay? Good night. Good night. You hungry? Yes. See? There's no rice. You don't like rice? Mom's been making a ton of it. I like rice. I eat rice every day, huh? Yeah, hey, milkshake tastes better anyway. So you got your milk, okay? Put it in here. Okay. Chocolate syrup. the really gruesome way to drink it. <sighs> See, sometimes I miss, though. What happens then? Oh, my mom gets mad. <laughs> you want to try? Okay. Another straw. When the bomb fell, what was it like? I don't like to think about it. Did you see it coming? I remember. Nice day. No crowds. I was walking to school. And someone said, Look at the airplane. High up in the sky. You don't want to hit this. Yes, I do, honest. People never talk about it. We go on. Keiko, my friend and me. One sudden, be a big fresh. Then what? Everything black. When I wake up, all the houses gone, all the people gone. Smoke, smell of burning, awful noises. I never see Keiko again. Long time I die in hospital. No one come for me. Did your mom know where you were? My grandmother, she, she find me. I asked where my mother and father are. But she not tell me. Where were they? They were dead. I'm, I'm sorry. I get better. But all this. Not go away. <laughs> You're right. Grissom. <laughs>
look like her. Yes, it does. We were supposed to get one of her now. Why should I? What's the matter? You afraid of a Jap spy? She's not a spy. What, is she your friend now? I'm just saying she's not a spy. Whose side are you on? Yeah, Johnny, whose side are you on anyway? Yeah, you with the Japs? Are you trying to help them now? Not all of them. Oh, just this one, right? You're so dumb. Hey, what difference does it make? It's just a game. Okay, you guys, let's have a vote. Who says Johnny went over to the Jap side and is now out of our gang? Hey, wait a minute. Majority rules. Johnny Bennett, you're officially out. I'm not out. We just voted, okay? This is a secret organization and you're not a member. Now, bye. I'm not leaving. Yes, you are. We just voted. Now, leave. You can't make me. Leo and I started this game. Yeah, me and Johnny, we were Will there. you shut up, Leo? Come on, Pete. Lover. You don't know anything. What did Mieko ever do to you? She was only Timmy's age. She had no mom and dad. What's wrong with letting her go to the hospital? She just wants to get well. I don't even want to be in your stupid gang. for a minute. Keep your head back. I need you some juice. May I talk to you? Leave. Oh, my echo. Please don't be offended. I think it better if some other family. I feel just terrible about this. No, it's not your fault. I make trouble with other people everywhere I go. I know. I see it. Would you feel more comfortable somewhere else? If not... for me, the same everywhere. I do this for you. For Johnny. So his friends would like him again. Boys are going to be boys. They're going to fight. So what I think the best thing is that both kids just shake hands, say they're sorry, and we go on from there. Well, you know, I'm not so sure Johnny has anything to be sorry for. Maybe you're right. Maybe you and Jim should apologize for bringing that little girl here, and then these boys would have been fighting in the first place. Look, Hal, I know you had a hard time during the no, war, and I don't... No, 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 no. It's not I... just my opinion, either. There are a lot of us in the neighborhood, we feel exactly the same. If the Japs have any gripes about losing, that is tough because they started this war. At this point, I don't care who started the war. If my kids were in trouble and needed help the way Mieko does, I sure hope that someone would be humane and loving enough to give them a home. Let her own people help her. Are you okay? Let me see. 
better get some more ice. Maybe it was a mistake to be in the king by the hall. Why do you feel that way? Oh, I do feel that way. Is there a problem? No. No, I thought the kids had a problem, but the reality is that you two have created a problem for all of us by bringing that girl here. I'm sorry. No, Mieko. You need something? No. See, that's the reality. You might ask yourself something, Hal. You might ask yourself if perhaps the person everybody should apologize to is Mieko. Let's go, son. Over a hundred thousand of Don't people. tell me about the war. We're killed in May. You believe? Do you believe the attitude? I meant you too, Jim. What? I think you owe Mieko an apology. What? You never thought about her when you asked her to come. You just thought about the effect it would have on other people. It... No, people, people must not be allowed to forget. But it's not fair to Mieko to make her their reminder. It's not fair. Is that what I've been doing? It's okay. Johnny, I think I'd go away. Why? Everybody fight all the time because of me. I go to the doctor soon, no matter where I stay. When I was a little girl, when all the other children would call me Picado, I cry very much. Then I get angry. Then I tear up newspapers. Newspapers? I was a small girl, could not break anything big, so when I feel bad, I tear up newspapers. <laughs> what did your grandmother say? Did she get mad at you? No. She said, be strong. You better than other children inside. And she hugged me. She know how I feel. Pretty good grandmother. The best. Miego, I want you to stay. What if all the other kids say bad things? So? We gotta do what your grandmother said. Be strong. Right. Right. We can start our own gang. I mean, you, me, Leo. And Timmy. Okay, all right. And my wormy little brother, Timmy. <laughs> I like that. Show your daddy. Excellent. Where's your mom? Oh, Timmy, that's great. That's a king queen. It's like a dinosaur. Mieko left the next day to have her first operation, the first of many. They did help some, but I don't know. She'll always have scars, I guess. Since she went back to Japan, I miss her. We write letters sometimes. I hope I'll see her again, but I know I'll never forget her. <laughs>